another edit. I wasn't gonna do this this year because I've done this literally every year. That I already know the Starbucks holiday menu, so I wasn't gonna do this. But then it had like a little BOGO situation. So I was like, mm, now I wanna try them all. Cause it's been a year. I don't know if they're all still good. I got the caramel brew latte iced, uh, peppermint mocha latte iced, peppermint mocha latte hot. Cause I wanna try the difference. I wanna see if it's better hot or cold. And then I got a eggnog latte. Cause I think eggnog latte is fascinating. That's one of the lattes. So this is the caramel brew latte. I wanted to try it hot too, but I didn't want to go overboard with all the drink. Cause there's two of us. Caramel? I guess. It doesn't have a distinct taste. It's like toasted, right? Or is this the praline? No, no, no. Caramel Where's... brew latte. Oh. Um, their caramel macchiato. Yeah. This is heavily dark. But like, it's not too sweet. Well, I like that. This looks like it's going to be so chocolatey. Wow, Duncan's is better. It's way too chocolatey. It actually, now that I'm drinking it, and the mocha and the peppermint. Sometimes you gotta shake it up. Yeah. So I like that iced. The peppermint mocha iced latte. Doesn't it taste like Christmas? It tastes like Christmas. But I'm going to try this again. This didn't have a taste. I mix it. I like it. Crumber brew latte. I like it. All right, let's try. Very curious about this guy. Look how cute this cup is. It's so fancy. Oh, oh no. The smell of it. It Please. smelled like pine clean salt cleaner. What? This is the eggnog? Yeah. I'll try it first. It's one of those moments where it's so hot you can't taste it. One of those moments. It's one of those moments. <laughs> I'm sleepy. Four caffeinated beverages. <laughs> yeah. Is the uh, Grande Peppermint Mocha Latte, but hot. Which I love. This, this is, this is, this is crazy. All the chocolate flakes and whipped cream. I don't taste anything. Am I the problem? Mm -hmm. It tastes like a peppermint hot chocolate, doesn't it's it? It's good. It's less sweet than it usually is. That's probably what it is. It's not hitting. Yeah, I'm more like a. Yeah. Which I freaking love peppermint hot chocolate, so it's not bad. But I've had the Dunkin' Donuts iced peppermint mocha latte and I loved it. And then, so I'm trying to think whose is better. Mm. I have to try it. I mean, they're really hitting it with the peppermint in this one. Yeah. Yeah. All right, now I'm gonna try the eggnog that it's probably cooled down. The inside has. I think to me, eggnog, like peppermint mocha, yes, but eggnog is like a holidays. You know, any kind of eggnog. Well, they so, did some kind of like foam and of it looks like nutmeg on the top. Mm -hmm. It's just the, the spices and the, the, the flavor. Even if I don't like eggnog, it like. My body does not like trying multiple things. <laughs> I'm having some kind of weird reaction. The eggnog is really freaking hot. I just burnt my taste buds. I can't taste anything now. I guess well that's happening. No, because I like the temperature, but I can't taste it. What? I love my hot drinks really freaking hot. I was just going to say take the lid off. The sugar plum cheese danish that we could not resist. So I've already tried all the holiday treats. We've tried a snowman cookie. Delicious. Snowman cake pop. So sweet. Do you remember that? Oh, they're... Scone. No, scone, compost, in. but I've never tried the sugar plum danish. It's good. Scones are good. You dip it in your Ew. coffee. She is not cute was just sitting there. Is this a biscuit? It's a Danish, like a croissant. Jeez, why don't you take it all? I'm just having a bite. Mmm. Uh -huh. It tastes like, um... Light and fluffy. Mm-hmm. What are those things called? But it's got, like, little, um, sugar... Plum. Oh, yeah. Mm. A 
little sugars, and then obviously. What's that thing called? Plum <laughs> flavor. This tastes like a strudel. Toaster strudel. Toaster strudel. There it is. Yeah, they're good. He's so good. I'm just gonna fill it. I'm gonna throw up. You're that asshole that wears their headphones all the time now, aren't you? Uh, no, I was talking to you on them, but then when I get in the car, my phone connects to it, and I was like, well, crap, I don't have my case on me, so I'm just gonna leave them in. The Carver Brew Latte, I wanna try hot, maybe sometime down the road. But the ice version of it, it doesn't have a holiday essence to it, but it's really good because I like caramel ice drinks. So, out of a 10, I would give it, um, like a seven because it's really high up there it's really good but i deduct points because it doesn't have like a holiday essence <clears throat> yeah but it's really freaking good i might give it a 7.5 um, good um do we not yeah i don't I know i might it give it again, again. so or i might give it an eight it hot. but it has like the little fancy stuff on the whipped cream exactly. and everything so but um, yeah I didn't get the chestnut praline. That's the one I like. That's the one I didn't like last year. It just tasted like um. Are you sure? Oh. Remember last year I was like, it tastes like cereal milk. Now this screams holiday. So I don't care for it in the sense like it just, it doesn't taste like coffee at all. It's overpowering with the mocha and the peppermint is so good. It's like peppermint I would, chocolate milk. I would never get this like, I would get it again. I won't say never, but this isn't something I would reach for ice because it's just so overpowering with the mocha, but it screams holiday. So like, it's funny because the two, so it's funny, this, you know, doesn't scream holiday, but it tastes really freaking good. So I would get it again for that. And this screams holiday, but it doesn't taste like good. <laughs> so they're very, but like polar opposites. Nope. I think the peppermint was at the bottom. Maybe. Now that I'm tasting it. Yeah, the peppermint mocha latte is supposed to be hot. I think iced is just too... It's too easy to drink it, too. It doesn't really... It's not yeah, that's why it it's up. like, out of all the drinks, we've gone through it. Because <laughs> during this time of the year, I love hot peppermint mocha. Yeah. Chocolate. So, the latte is pretty good with that. Yeah, it's good. It gives you, like, you know... I, I just like it warm because it's just more comforting that's what yes. you kind of want from a drink like this yeah, you're like, not gonna get it all the time like i never get iced pumpkin spice lattes you'll always see me get a hot pumpkin spice latte like there's just some things during certain seasons that you yeah get. like it's not like obviously a daily thing it's like something that you treat yourself with and i think that yeah i think it hits pretty well they nailed it 10 out of 10 i wouldn't go iced with it it's too easy to drink and it, you know you definitely get the peppermint though oh god no i just don't know i think i'm having a sugar rush all right so the <laughs> last one that we have yet to really fully try because it was so hot is the egg i don't taste anything well the problem is when you're drinking all of these at once it's hard to reset your taste buds without drinking some water it does have an interesting scent But when yeah, I first smelled it, you could definitely taste the yeah. I don't know if I would get it again. I, I would just, get it on its now. I have that mocha flavor in my. It's hard. We should have tried this is. one first. Yeah. You can taste. The it's nutmeg. definitely festive and different. Like who the who the hell is serving like an eggnog latte? I give them. They already got bonus points for being creative. Like an eggnog latte. That's creative. Curious. I wish I would have got one more drink. I want to try the caramel blue latte warm, which I bet is pretty good. It's like a brulee. Oh. It's anything like I don't like if I'm gonna go to Starbucks, I'm probably gonna get my peppermint mocha. I'm not gonna think like, oh, let me get my eggnog. It's not like wowing me. <laughs> also, I drink my eggnogs cold. Um, yeah. So that was us trying the Starbucks holiday menu in 2020, looking like hot messes. <laughs> But I mean, this best represents 2020. You trying tall muffin stuff? Um, comment below what your favorite <laughs> uh, drink is and treat. And if there's something I haven't tried, I'm really open to suggestions. Like, I really want to try like secret menus or what your favorite thing is. So, I want to make a video one day where it's trying my subscribers' drinks. So, comment that below. Ugh, whew, I drank too much. It's all so sweet. Bye, guys. <laughs>